State lawmakers are considering allowing bars in some cities like West Hollywood to extend last call hours, but some are rallying against the bill, calling it dangerous. The new state bill would extend last call hours to 4 a.m. Supporters say the move will help businesses recover from pandemic-related hardships. Opponents say it could increase drunk driving and crime. KTLA's Mary Beth McDay live in West Hollywood with more MB. And Mike and Chair, an L.A. City Councilman had a rally in opposition of WeHo being allowed to keep their bars open two hours later. He fears that if they do, it will cause more problems to flow into his city. West Hollywood's known for its attractions, right? Nightlife included. So I think it'll be good for the community and the economy here. There is growing debate over West Hollywood's last call for alcohol, going from 2 a.m. till 4 a.m. Some clearly for it, others not so much. It's just going to get dirtier and it's going to get messier, in my opinion, and much noisier. The noise is out of control right now. The West Hollywood City Council recently voted in favor of being one of seven cities across California involved in a pilot program to extend alcohol sales under Senate Bill 930. State Senator Scott Weiner introduced the legislation to help boost the hospitality industry still recovering from COVID shutdowns. I think whatever is going to bring revenue and funds to the community is great. Yeah. And yeah, I live around here, so it's nice to see it's, you know, livening up again after COVID. But a city councilman in neighboring L.A. held a rally outside L.A. City Hall Wednesday in opposition of the bill. We will not allow Sacramento to endanger our public safety. He fears more drunk drivers will pour in from WeHo and endanger more Angelinos' lives. This is our fifth whack at keeping this deadly excuse for a business growth bill that does more to threaten the innocent public than helping a few bars and nightclubs increase their nightly revenue. But we hope residents in favor of it say, in this day and age, there's no reason to be drinking and driving. Drunk drivers shouldn't even be a thing anymore with Uber and Lyft. Like, that's, that's just foolishness, you know? And then you have the little trolley that goes up and down the strip. So, yeah, I don't know why drunk drivers would be even a thing anymore. Well, if passed, the pilot program would kick off in 2025, and then after five years, the state would review it and decide if it should be renewed or discontinued.